just checking all the lights to make sure they're all working. Again, we're just checking all the lights for uh, your safety and everybody else's safety. Um, you want to be seen and you want to be able to see what you're doing. And uh, in doing that, we just check them all over, make sure they're all working, they're all flashing, you know, all that kind of wonderful stuff. We're here now to do a 300 hour service on our 140M cat grader. Uh, again, this is part of our preventive maintenance here. And uh, we'll start with uh, draining the engine oil. This one's fairly simple. Um, there are two drain valves, one does hydraulic and one does engine oil. So make sure you get the engine oil. Just taking an oil sample for our uh, preventive maintenance. They send these off to finning and it'll tell us if there's lots of metal or fuel or any contaminants in the oil other than what should be there. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is start with uh, some of the filters here. Since we're working on the side with the oil drain, we'll do the you know, air filter really quickly here. Uh, it's just the uh, six clips. And the cover comes right off. Oh. And then the outer air filter comes out, and the inner one. And again, we'll put new ones in it, and just give them a little push to make sure they're seated properly. and put the cover back on. And there's the air filters. Our next step here will be to do the oil filter, which is here. Um, I like pulling this little panel off. It gives it way more access and a fair bit easier. Uh, it's 16 millimeter bolts, four of them and the whole panel will come off and give us a bit more room. So I will use our fancy tool here. And there's the oil filter. And again, filter wrench. And again, I like putting a little bit of oil on the, the O-ring of the new one.
and again only hand tight. And then I just give it a little wipe off to get rid of any of the oil drips or anything like that. And there's the oil filter done. So we're just going to finish the oil, draining the oil here now that it's done. Tighten up the plug and put some oil into it. And then we come over. And this grater takes 34 liters of oil. So. Now you might not have all this stuff in the in your shops, but you know, four liter jugs or single jugs or pails. You just have to make sure you get as close to the number of liters you need in whatever machines you are working on. If you underfill it, you won't have enough oil to properly lubricate the engine. And if you overfill it, you have a chance of aerating the oil, which is when the pistons and crankshaft are splashing the oil around and it doesn't lubricate properly either. So trying to get as close to the amount you need in the engine is the best. Uh, next we're gonna do the two cab filters. Uh, the first one is on the outside of the cab and that's just a quick unscrew here. Pull the old one out and push the new one in. And then the second one is right behind the seat inside the cab, so it's a tad tight to get into. The cab filter inside the cab is behind the seat, so what I do is pull the seat right forward, and then we can reach in behind and actually get the the filter I'm done. And all you gotta do is undo the two screws. And the filter comes out like that. Slide the new one in. and do the two screws back up. And those are the two cab filters. The last step is to give it a grease and do a visual inspection on the machine. Are fittings leaking or are O-rings leaking or anything like that? I like doing that when I'm greasing because they're already walking around the machine and conquering two things at once. Um, when I'm greasing, I like to just do a quick inspection over everything on the grater, checking all the hoses for any bad spots, wear spots, any leaks. Same with the tires, looking for any cuts, gouges. 
and just general overall condition of it. You know, are panels bent? Are there cracks? And if I do find anything like that, I just will get it all repaired and go on from there.